So I am doing some Monopoly streets grinding here on Xbox 360 achievement hunting. There are nine discontinued achievements here in this game. The discontinued achievements are for online mode, but it's no big deal. If I have the online achievements that I can't do anymore, I'll still do achievements that I can do in offline offline in these games. Um, no big deal to me. I really don't care how much incomplete games I have. As long as I can get as complete as I can get it, I don't care. I'm going to show you what achievements I've been grinding. I did a few Microsoft number puzzle grinding, which is the Japanese version of Microsoft Sudoku. On Windows 10, I did that grinding right now. Then, and then I did um, Microsoft. And then I'm going to tomorrow I might do some more of that or I might do another games that like like another game like maybe like a telltale tip game I don't know if I w will I might I I don't know like here and there like do a few like do a month or two do a little bit of that do this do that maybe go off and on with those two I don't know I don't know though because it's going to be a lot while the it's gonna kind of tease us to do 250 in the five more bullets. So I kind of want something to break up a little bit here and there. And that'll probably be the break game when we're playing on computer and some Windows achievement games. So then here's Monopoly Street. I did some Monopoly here that I didn't share with you. A couple of games in regular Monopoly. I did he who controls the dice. Um, which is when a full, every mini game a full game a developer. And what I did was with two controllers and I did beat two AIs and I two easy AIs and I did. And then I won all the mini games so I didn't finish first because I picked the lowest ones and lowest numbers in every game. And I gave away my most expensive properties if I need to give away properties. And I did end up winning, did end up getting the game. So there is 70 more in there. And then I did Monopoly Streets here. I started this yesterday. And there's Win the Game Entertainments, which I did, which you can just do with two controllers. Have player one quit. Have bankrupt as player two first turn. And then you and then you just win the game. And that's exactly what I did. And then I bought property cheaper. Which actually, the first property I bought was an auction. Which I did that for nothing. Which you can do on actually bull market. So I did that on bull market, did that. And then I, with your AI, you can pick a property. And I just did with the brown properties. Uh, that don't pay one use the AI. The central paid, they paid one twin. You can call it good. One of the railroads, which bull, enough, bull market, you can easily do that in. Same with that, bull market, bull market, three card groups once, and you can pay every action zero. And then, yep, I did that with one property with one brown property. And then I did that with the other brown property with both brown properties. And then I did that, I traded every property for a book. And then pays rent for a second turn, which obviously you can do that. Um, have Obviously, if you own every property, this, this um in the bull market game, um, you'll obviously do that. Obviously, that makes sense. It's pretty easy to do. And then that one, please show us the hotel. Pretty easy to do. You just have to get a hotel on the property. You own both properties and pay one, get one hotel. Or maybe a hotel is on both. And then finish the game with the total net worth of 9,000. Which you just have to own every property pretty much and own some cash. Which it's not super hard. And then, and it, and then acquire your 70th property. Bull Market did that in. Get their large upgrade corporate, which you just need to have net worth over 10,000. Which takes a little bit, but it's not very hard. Bull Market, this player's about 100 houses. Which I just did playing bull market, trying to get the achievement called Hotels Maximus, but I realized I couldn't do a bull market. I had to play it in 
and regular monopoly and this you couldn't um I didn't um mortgage anything and it ended up finally working and it all won. It finally worked. But then I did um play played play pay or play to get Joe and they had to get a jail free card. So you just pay the fifty dollar bail even when you have a jail free jail card. Even your second drug gets you can treat your first the your main for one control one, which is your main controller. And then you can do that. With all this go jail free, which I did that. I didn't get unlucky, so I just did it. I first, if I didn't get it when I had it second time in jail, I just rolled and rolled and rolled, and I kept X X and quitting. If I didn't get it, was it took a little bit, but I finally did. I finally got jail three times, and then I ended up doing this one, and then cut more thousand, which I just had all the red properties. And if I didn't land, if I second time didn't land red property, I, and I ended up quitting. Now, had a training a property to player two. And then I bought it back from player two. And then I gave him a bunch of money. So not, like fifteen hundred, so they land on a property. Um they land on the right properties so they'd have the control right on them. And I ended up doing that. And I just could if I didn't land on one of the right properties. And I was nearby. And I did. And now I'm trying to do a really hard one. Or well, not hard, it's just really tedious. And it's lucky luck. Roll triples which you need to roll. With speed die, you need a um a turn speed die on, a third die, which in custom thing. What you need to do is you need to do one you need to roll three runs, three twos, three threes. And then I need to um turn off on games, which I'm just could grind it all once. It's just bankrupting but I didn't do I'm just Playing the regular games and then once I bank I lose I do the achievement in that mode or set up the game for then I just bankrupt the player two and then I win the game. So that's all I need to really do. That I'm not really grinding it all once. But I'll end up getting that, it's pretty easy to get. Take twelve hundred attacks one game. Probably do that in a regular in this game. But we'll see. Cause it might take a while. Right the best what's so serious and most expensive review is I'll play one bankrupt. Which they just have to land on like the most expensive property in the game. Which I could just trade player one. Which if player one has the property, then player two I'll just trade with player two for that property. And then and then after I set it up, after I do a setup game that way. So that'll be pretty easy. Or then maybe and then Receiving two more land, free parking, separate game mode for that. Play roll of 15, which I'm going to speed after. Probably will take a while. Who knows? Then receive 120 tickets and separate game for that, which I'm going to do. It doesn't really enter there. There's a way to set that. This one, to make it not super difficult. And this one, player set firehouses, which I can just set that one up at the very end. So. Yeah, I'm just gonna finish this one. This one's gonna take forever though. I already know it is, so. There's some that got like 500 tries on like Shushin. They're still not in it. 500 turns. So I really don't care. I'm just here to. Just, yep. Get the achievements, so. Which is just a pain, which is just very annoying. Which is just very annoying. And right there, I only have 14. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm just gonna be go back grinding this, and yeah. I just don't, I mean, I just don't have really much to say about this game. It's just pain in the butt. It's annoying. This achievement is, I want to be in these luck based ones, they're kind of annoying. I mean, they're, I mean, I, I mean, eh. it is what it is, though. If I have to get, I want to get every achievement in every game, possibly can. And I'm not going to try to be, like, number, I might be number one in, like, I don't think I'll be number one, though, in, like, Xbox leaderboard gamer score. Because some of the really hard ones I might not get, or something like that. But, 
Yeah, after I finish this one, though, um, there, I might go back to a disc, a uh, Wheel of Fortune 360. I might. I might. Or also go to, um, um, also go to, um, maybe I'll go to some of my games on my disc, because there's, on the digital, because there's, um, Hunter's, Hunter's game I might do. Oh, I got triple my second, second controller. I'm very serious. Well, whatever. Well, I'm back. I'm just going to finish this one in peace. And get the achievement. And so yeah. There's someone like Smirnov, I think S M R. And OV with like 1,150,000 Xbox 360 gamers. But if my goal is to get to the end of the year is to get a thousand or 100,000. Um, if I can get to um, 300, if I can get, if I can get to f half a million, that would be a, a, my, if I get half a million, I'd be satisfied. Like being like the top, like few hundred, like, even, like, the top, like, thousand in the world, which is, I think, probably, which is, like, 300,000, I think, so, I guess should be able to pretty much do that pretty easy, pretty easily, oh, it's gonna take a while, it's gonna take a lot of games and a lot of time, it's not gonna be super difficult, super difficult, though, so, But yeah, but yeah, so, there we go, this game, so yeah.